Hi, in this episode we will uh, look at how to modulate a step sequence in a polybrute. So uh, if you remember in the last episode we um, learned how to build up a sequence. If you would like to see this video, the link is in the description. So now assuming you know how to build a sequence, we will add some modulation track to it. So. First of all, I will delete the modulations which I uh, have built into this uh, patch and I will show you how, what the sequence sounds like dry. These are my steps. This makes it easily transposable um, in the song. And as I say, it's important to know what key you're in. Uh, but interestingly, in this, this case, we were not going to transpose uh, the sequence, but you will see later in the video, we're going to transpose everything else around the sequence, and that is going to create some interesting effects. But first, let's start with modulation. Um, if you're in a sequencer mode, uh, you have a bit of a well, little menu, menu here with knobs, uh, with buttons, sorry, uh, from 1 to 8. And if you click on 4, you have, uh, you're in a modulation um, I don't know, menu, I guess. And uh, here's where you can start recording your modulations. And it's very easy to do. Um, basically, you press record button and you twist the knob which you want to um, use as modulation. Um, it's a very cool thing because you can try out what is interesting by playing the sequence and turning the knobs. Okay, I like that. So by t twisting the metalizer knob on VCO1, I add this effect on the second part of the sequence. I like that. But no, I like it. So I'll record it. Right, okay. So let's see um, how it worked. Okay, not quite. Um, because I want the metalizer uh, parameter to go down to zero at the beginning of the sequence. So we delete this part again. So th this is where my modulation is recorded. This is the modulation line, if you want. And uh, these are the steps where the movement was recorded. I want to delete that. So there's a very easy way to do it. You press 8, erase mode, and 5, because this is where my uh, modulation was recorded, slot number 5. Delete. Let's do it again. So you see, this is where the movement was recorded on these steps. Um, so this line here continues here. Um, it's uh, one modulation slot, so to speak. We can also record modulation on this line. And on this, we have three of them. So let's use them. Uh, the other trick we could do is play with this stereo image button. button uh, sorry, no. Um, and change the stereo image from very wide to very narrow. Let's try this out. Okay, okay. it's uh, it's not bad. If you have headphones, you will you you will hear the the difference. Um, and now. I'll show you the other way to uh, recall the modulation. Uh, sometimes you don't want you want your your modulation precisely on, on the step. You want to dial it in. 
Um, for example, uh, the delay. Uh, there are too many steps for the delay to be uh, up all the time. Um, but what you will, what I would like to have is uh, is a delay turned on on this last step of the sequence and turn off right after. So let's uh, uh, let's see how to do it. So this was the step you have to memorize, right? I press the sorry record. Okay. So now we are recording on that particular step. What I want to have here is the delay. Maybe not all the way up, substantially. Next step, delay down. Stop recording. Let's listen. See? So there's this echo effect, which is which isn't overwhelming because it turns itself on on the last step and and this way of recording step by step is very useful when you have this want to have this precise um, differences dialed in so uh, let's see how it uh, works with the rhythm the sequence oh, let me just check my levels should be fine You see, so uh, I hope it uh, gives you an idea on how to uh, modulate a sequence on a polyroot. Um, it's actually quite fun uh, to do, uh, thanks to this interface, which I found absolutely brilliant. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, please click the button, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.